Hi everyone, Tom here from Frontend Beginners. In this video, we'll look at how to add the free Font Awesome icon kit to your HTML and CSS projects. At the time of recording, the free version of Font Awesome includes over 1,600 icons, ranging from logos of well known brands to simple arrows and emojis. To get started, head over to fontawesome.com and click Start for Free. Enter your email address and click Send Kit Code. Look out for a confirmation email and click the link within it to confirm your email address. And on the next screen, you can either complete some information about yourself or click the link at the bottom to skip this step. The next screen welcomes you to your new account and gives some information about how to get started. It's a good idea to save this kit page as a bookmark in your browser as you'll need to refer to it any time you want to include font or some icons in a new project. Click the blue link to the right of the screen to copy your kit code. In your HTML document, paste the script tag into the head section of your document. Font Awesome is now being served to your project via CDN, so we're ready to start adding some icons. You can use the icons in any place you like on your site. For this example, I'll be creating a very simple social icons section in the footer of my dummy page. To save time, I've already created the basic structure in my HTML file, so all I need to do is add the icons to finish things off. As you can see, I've got this unordered list at the bottom here in my footer ready for my social media icons. To add these, after connecting your project to the Font Awesome CDN, simply use the search bar at the top of the Font Awesome website to find the icon you're looking for. In this case, I'm looking for a Facebook icon. You'll see that on the search results page, some of the icons are greyed out. These are available only in the pro version of Font Awesome but there's usually plenty of choice in the free version, so don't worry too much about that. I'm going to go with this circular icon, so let's click on that. On the icon page, simply click on the I element towards the top of the screen to copy the code to your clipboard. Then go back into your HTML document and paste this element wherever you want the icon to appear. If we preview this now in the browser, we can see that we've got a small black icon positioned where we want it. It might not look great, but it's a start. Font Awesome comes with some built-in styling classes that you can play around with, but personally, I just use my own CSS for this in all of my projects. You can find out more about the built-in classes by visiting the styling section on the Font Awesome website. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll add in the rest of the icons first before we move on to making these look a little bit better. Next up is Instagram, so let's search for that. I'll go with this first one here, copy the HTML element and paste it into the document. Next we have Twitter. copy and paste and finally Pinterest. Now we can see all four of these icons in the footer section on our page. Now we've got all of our icons in place, let's begin by increasing their size. To do this, we first need to target our icons. As I will be applying the same styling to all of my icons, I'll target these together as a group. To begin with, I'll target the footer, and then I'll target anything inside the footer with a class of FAB, as you can see here in the HTML document. This will affect all items with the class of FAB, which is all of our icons that are inside of our footer element. To increase their size, simply use the font size property. I'll give these a font size of 2rem. 
Checking this in the browser, we can see that the icons have increased in size accordingly. Now let's change their color. Rather than the default black, let's use a light blue color. To do this, simply use the color property. And in this case, I'm going to use a light blue. We'll also apply different styling when a user hovers over each icon. So we'll target the icon's hover state. So footer dot fab hover and give it a color of a slightly darker blue. Now, when you hover your mouse over any of the icons, you can see that the color changes. We'll also make the hover effect a little bit smoother by setting the transition property on the original rule to transition color 0.4 seconds. Now the color change is just slightly slower and a little more pleasing to the eye. Aside from size and color, you can also affect these icons using any other CSS properties that you can use on any other type of element. You can rotate them, animate them, change their opacity, anything you like. For the sake of this video example, we'll keep it simple and just stick with the size, color and hover state that we've already defined. If you want to remove an icon from your project, simply delete its eye element and it will no longer appear on the page. So in this case, we'll delete this whole list item here, which includes the eye element for Pinterest. And obviously, Pinterest has now gone. If you try adding an icon to your project and you can't figure out why it's not appearing, double check that you've added the font awesome CDN script element in the head of your HTML document. I thought I'd mention this as I've done this a few times myself. I think that covers the basics of creating a font awesome account, pasting your kit code into your project so it's connected to the CDN, and then inserting, styling, and removing icons as you choose. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.